Shining Fates is released today, guys. Who has had an opportunity to get some? I got only just a little bit. We're gonna just open up the Eldegoss V tin today. Um, I actually went to Toys R Us. I am from Canada, yes, went to Toys R Us. Lined up, I was probably seventh in line and there was probably, by the time they opened the doors, about 20 people. How bizarre is that, that there is that many people that are lining up for Pokemon? It feels like the 90s all over, it's pretty crazy. But there was no, there was no Shining Fates in the store. They let everyone line up for well over a half hour and then they walk in, they're like, oh yeah, no, we, we don't have any of that. And they just let everyone line up outside in the snow and the cold. So, you know, I, Anyways, it's not that big a deal. I was lucky enough that I got these at um, Electronic Boutique and I'm expecting FedEx today with some stuff from Pokemon Center. But again, I wanted to get this out today because today is Shining Fates Day. We are a week and one day away from Pokemon Day. So how great would it be to just get some, uh, you know, the Charizard right off the bat? And, and actually, I, I do want to mention, this is different packaging than they're used to, so just kind of be aware that it's got like this, you know, you can, you can open it up like that, and that's the way their packaging goes on these tins now. But these Eldegoss tin, um, on the back here, you get six booster packs. Oh, I thought it was five. That's fantastic. You get six booster packs, and then you've got one of the three. So Eldegoss, we've got Bolton, and then Cramorant. Shiny cards, very, very nice full art. V shinies that they are giving away. That's awesome, six. I don't know why I had five stuck in my head. So there is the beautiful, let's uh, let's see if we can pop this out. I will give the code card to somebody as well. Um, I'll give that in a moment. Let's take a quick peek at this Eldegoss. What a beautiful, beautiful Eldegoss. Not my personal favorite Pokemon. Centered, not bad, a little bit heavy on the right and compared to the left and the back. Looks pretty good. It's actually a pretty good looking promo. So I am excited to add that to my collection. Very good, add that into the binder. And I'm just, anytime opening up a new set, it's just fun because you get to build a binder. I don't know about you guys, but I love building a binder. I, I really, really enjoy that. So there's a code card for somebody, good luck. And I am excited, there is the tin. I am excited to get into some Shining Fates. I have waited for this for a while. I hope it goes well. Do we got we got one of each pack card? That's great. So Dracapult, we've got Charizard, who we're looking for, Corviknight, and a Toxtricity. Very cool. Six packs. Let's see if we can pull some magic today. I am hoping for at least one full art. One full art shiny is the goal. I don't know what pull rates are like. I have not watched much of it yet. Um, these are all white code cards, so I can give them away ahead of time. So. Good luck to whoever gets that. Four cards, and we are starting off with some lightning. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna slow roll it a little bit because I've not seen it. Rusted Sword. I know that from, from Pokemon Sword and Shield, the uh, Nintendo Switch uh, game. That's pretty cool. We got Floatzel, Dartrix, all right. Trapinch, Shinx. Our work's okay. It's nothing, nothing amazing yet. There's definitely some that I have seen uh, before that I want, like the Eevee. Rowlet. Speak of the Eevee, there is that absolutely adorable Eevee just going for a little swim. Going out for a little swim, that's good. All right, we've got a more Peko with a Snubble that looks very, very upset. And the Rookity as well had stole whatever berry that is. I'm not sure what the citrus berry or whatever it's called. We've got, there we go, starting with a Rillaboom VMAX. Excellent. Not the VMAX, but it is a shiny VMAX. My first pack, first pull. Can't be upset about that. And a professor's research. Wow, Rillaboom VMAX. Not centered very well, but that is okay. Awesome. Rillaboom, that is gonna be worth a decent amount too. I know Rillaboom is a favorite. I did not put it in my top 10 video where I did the top 10 shiny card or uh, shiny fates cards, but this will be up there. This is gonna be a popular one, Rillaboom VMAX. Very, very good way to start this opening. And now Charizard himself. Now I got, look at that one pack. I already got the full art shiny that I was hoping for. So, or getting one. I'm not the one that I'm looking for, but there is a code card for somebody. I would love to pull Charizard. I don't want this to be as painful as it was for uh, for Champions, or, well, certainly Champions Path, but not uh, Hidden Fates as well. 
Gym Trainer, that's pretty cool. Rotom, reading a book. Floatzel, Horsey, and as you see, there's the uh, there's the little logo, the little circle there, diamond circle thingy. And then there's only 72 cards in the main set. And then in the uh, Shiny Vault, there's 122. So this is a big set when you include the Shiny Vault cards. Without Reverse Hollows, that is what, 194. That is a lot of cards. Nicket, we've got a Rowlet, a Reverse Gossiflor, and a Holographic Rillaboom. Okay, so we are, we are keeping true with the Rillaboom. That is two Rillaboom packs in a row now. It's kind of cool. And I believe there's a Baby Shiny Rillaboom as well. So it's kind of, uh, kind of interesting. Gossiflor. All right, this is awesome. Anytime you're opening up a new set, it's exciting, but like, you know, when you're looking for shiny Pokemon, it's just something extra special about that. I mean, I still enjoy opening up Hidden Fates. I've completed the set, but I still enjoy opening it up. I don't open it up very often, but when I do, it, it is it is an event. There is a code card for somebody. Good luck. If you guys are looking for more code cards, uh, definitely check me out on my uh, Instagram and uh, other social medias that is on screen. Gym Trainer, and actually yesterday I did my first live box break. I broke a, a Darkness Ablaze um, box, which was a lot of fun. A lot of awesome people came out and, and watched and uh, chatted along. So definitely, if you guys are interested in, in those, I'm gonna probably be doing more of those. So, more Peko. We've got, oh, another VMAX, awesome. Scent of Scorch, shiny uh, VMAX. That is awesome. All right, I am above my expectation here and a Dreadnaw non-holo. That is fantastic. Let's get that into a sleeve. And again, same centering on this, a little bit heavy on the right side, but oh, very cool. These are not my goal cards. Again, obviously Charizard. I want the Skyla. Those are gonna be some popular ones. Rillaboom, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to get Rillaboom. Uh, you know, knocking that off the list, that's okay. Three packs in, two Full Art VMAX Shinies. Yes, please. And a, and a holographic. That's pretty cool too. This is this has been good. And you know what I really like about it is that you can't like just by looking at the side, you can't tell. You know, with Champions Path, I don't know if you guys remember, you could really see if you had something coming up. Like in this, these are all surprises to me. Even though I can kind of see on top of it, I don't know if there's a if there's a, a, a pull coming. So very very exciting. Grookey, we got a Yanma, more Peko. Oh, a different more Peko. That's interesting. More Peko with a Shuckle in the back and was that a pick a peck or whatever the evolution of a pick a peck is. Choodle, EB. We've got Team Yell Towel Reverse and a Yan Mega. Okay, all right. So, so we've uh, we've done okay. Four packs and two full art shinies. I'm all right with that. And there's not too many full art shinies in this set. That's the crazy part too. Is that there's there's not a lot in comparison to shining like shiny fates or Hidden Fates, there was quite a, a number of full arts compared to the Baby Shinies, but they are the opposite here in this one. So, all right, there is Code Card for somebody. All right, all right, let's see if we can pull something good here. There are some full art trainers, like I mentioned, the Skyla, um, Pokey Kid looks cool, Ball Guy. All right, Choodle. More Peko, interesting, two more Pekos. Cacnea, we've got a Horsey. A Kufant, give me some good news. We've got a Thwacky Reverse Hollow and a Cramorant VMAX. Non shiny, but hey, it's a VMAX. We got three VMAXs, two of which being shinies in this in this box. I don't know what pull rates are yet. I have not watched enough videos to see how pull rates are, but I mean, if this is what's to be expected, I mean, that's very exciting. Or maybe I just had a great tin. I, I don't know. Leave down below what you guys think. Has this just been a really good tin? Or am I really lucky? Or is this to be expected? Because, uh, yeah, I am I am okay with that. I am okay with that. All right, last pack magic. We are going to see if we can get something good on this last pack. I am hopeful. I am hopeful. Again, a couple V back shinies. Okay. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a happy camper. Happy camper today. Floatzel, I'd love to see a baby shiny. Luxio, that'd be cool. Snom, we've got a Grookey, Spinarak, Shinx, Horsey, come on, let's see it. We've got a Rowlet, 
and a yen, another yen mega. What are the chances of that? So that's it for today, guys. Thanks. Please hit a like. Please be subscribed to my channel for more content. See you in the next one. Have an amazing day.